Hi guys, it's Kizzy Bug here. I just wanted to take some time to talk about the stuff that we've been seeing on YouTube in regards to abuse for profit. Um, it is not okay to put your children on camera and subject them to millions of viewers who knows if there's some sickles in the audience or not. Also to shame a child on YouTube because that child uh, isn't respecting women. Well, you only get what you give. I mean, if you're going to subject a child to all sorts of, of abuse and that's what the child grew up with, what do you expect? The child is going to do what the child has seen. And you can't expect any different. I mean, if it mattered at all for a child to respect women or grown-ups or whatever, you should have done that when he was young. I.e., don't abuse the child. Um, in regards to my friend Roasted, she does not make money from her videos. She does them because she wants to bring awareness to abuse, just like many of us who have seen patterns of abuse on these channels, and it was her profit, which is disgusting. But all the same, um, you can't criticize a child for a child doing what the child has learned growing up, seeing the males in his life that should have been role models, disrespecting women and friends, other family members, and then you're going to get on YouTube and chastise that child because the child acted out, um, I, I don't even have any words for that. I just think it's disgusting. As far as people coming up to Rose's channel and berating her and thinking that she's like a long lost family member of theirs or she's vindictive or whatever, no, she's not, okay? This lady cares about children. I care about children. And as an abuse survivor myself, I find these videos showing this guy walking in on his mom having sex or his father berating her, calling her all sorts of nasty names. Uh, that made me cry watching those videos. I don't know how they made it onto YouTube, but I find it very, very, very disgusting. And I don't think videos like that should even exist. Now, if you want to support the efforts of bringing abuse, um, awareness for abuse for profit, hashtag, what about the abuse? Okay, and it's not just for all that. I mean, you, you know, every day you could call abuse attention and awareness to other sort of forms of abuse. It doesn't have to just be for the profit. But don't go to people's channels and harassing them. I mean, the person that did the videos, he put them out for public consumption. Okay, just like many of us other creators. How can he not be called out? It's no different than if you see a celebrity acting crazy, like, I don't know, Charlie Sheen. Um, people talk about him for lots of reasons. So what's the difference than if you're calling out another YouTuber because of the content that is deflecting, you know, abuse, you know, and it's just consumption for, you know, money, profit. Uh, at the end of the day, all that really matters is doing the right thing. And I implore you guys. As an abuse survivor myself, also a content creator on my own YouTube channel, just like other people, to go watch the older videos. I don't care if it's on either one of the channels. Um, watch Roasted's videos. She, she does really good content, and she researches what she's doing. But don't go there and say all these nasty things to her or me or anybody else, because the person that... We're talking about put the videos out for public consumption. You want to sit there and put your life out there? Then people are going to look at what they see. And if they're anything like me, they're going to be observant and be like, oh, whoa, 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 wait a second. You know? And you should be. That's what I'm saying. You should be. Why would you support somebody that is using abuse for profit just because you think it's funny? Ah, oh, that's great. You know? The old man smashed the stove. Whatever. You know? Not funny. Disgusting. Again, hashtag, what about the abuse? Thank you for listening, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.